That leads us to where we're at, Brian. What time is it? This day in history before this day is not over yet. In looking at this day in history before this day is not quite over yet, on September 12th, 2003, the man in black, the legend Johnny Cash, died in Nashville at the age of 71. One of the most influential music musicians of the 20th century, Johnny Cash's career started with the birth of rock and roll and continued for 40 years as he was a rebel and an amazing, amazing support and voice for the little guy. He is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's in the Country Hall of Fame. He's also in the Gospel Hall of Fame. His music will live on forever in honor of the man in black, in honor of Pizzeria. Let's hear the jam band, the String Cheese Incident, and their 1997 song, Johnny Cash, as we continue on with the news. Let's get a little bit of this cheese factory. There we go. On September 12th, 1846, John Franklin, uh, his uh, ship, the Edibus and the Terror, were actually locked in ice, and uh, which is present-day King uh, William Island, uh, Northwest Territories. They were actually uh, looking for the Northwest Passage, and they got the long route, wrong route. George Savallo was born on September 12th, 1937 in Toronto. The Canadian heavyweight champion from 1958 to 1961 and 1964, he fought the likes of Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali and was never brought, uh, brought down. His new fight is to talk to youth about uh, drug addiction, especially heroin, as his two sons died of heroin overdose. Neil Pert, drummer for Rush, was born on September 12, 1952 in Hamilton. Happy 60th birthday, Neil. On September 12, 1996, uh, the uh, monkeys, uh, let's see here, this is amazing, amazing stuff here. Uh, one of the longest, longest trains in, in Canadian history, September 12, 1996, 34 cars, and that was the uh, Via train, and uh, Canadian actor Raymond Burr died on September 12, 1993 at the age of 76. He was a star of... Um, Perry Mason and Ironside, another Canadian actor. Uh, let's see here. Lauren Green died on September 12, 1987. He was known as the horror voice of doom as he was the voice of the CBC during World War II, and he was also best known as uh, the guy on Bonanza. On September 12th, 490 BC, Athens defeated uh, Persia. Very important news at the Battle of Marathon. It led to the Marathon Run. On September 12th, 1963, the Beatles recorded I Want to Be Your Man, also the number one song, She Loves You. The first episode of The Monkees on TV was September 12th, 1966. Hey, hey, we're the Monkees, and uh, we're not going to monkey around. The, the Monkees were the first band on TV history to actually be a rock and roll band. Every September 12th, it's Monkey Day in Monkey Land. And too bad none, none of you guys are monkeys. The number one song 50 years ago today, Ramblin' Rose by Nat King Cole. September 12th, 1885. Gus Cannon of the Cannon Jug Stompers was born, and he is an important part of rock and roll history. One of the most important moves in rock and roll history happened today on September 12th, 1948. Elvis Presley moved from Tupelo, Mississippi to Memphis, Tennessee when Elvis was 12 years old. The rest, of course, is history. The big man, the, the big voice, Barry White, was born on September 12th, 1944. Uh, a sad day in human history is the genocide of Armenians began in Turkey on September 12th, 1915. We cannot remain silent. September 12th, 1973, one day after the coup d'etat in Chile against uh, uh, Alente's government by the U.S.-backed CIA uh, uh, Augusto Pinochet's army started imprisoning political prisoners, which led to the mass killings and killing, including the, the singing legend Victor Hara. Ben Folds, singer-songwriter, was born on September 12, 1966. On September 12, 1977, Stephen Biko, leader of the South African Black Congress movement, was uh, died of head injuries while in police custody in Pretoria, South Africa, in 1980. Peter Gabriel released his classic protest song in honor of Stephen Biko. Biko! Biko! Simply one of the best, best protest songs of all time against apartheid. September 12th, what a day, including Pizzeria co hosting the shoebox on September 12th, 2012. Let's listen to the rest of the song.
train, drive that train on down the track, drive that train through that burning ring of fire on down the track. Johnny Cash is on that train, but he ain't never coming back. Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, you don't smoke hash. Johnny Cash don't smoke hash, he's at that line on the track. Johnny Cash is on the train, but he ain't never coming back. Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, you don't smoke hash. Johnny Cash don't smoke hash, he's at the line on the track. Never coming back. Listening to the mighty, mighty CGSR. My name's Pete. I'm here with Brian, and of course, we're here with the legends of the jam band seen in Edmonton, Pizzeria. And in their honor, we heard the jam band, the String Cheese Incident, Johnny Cash, off their classic 1977 CD. Born on the wrong planet. I was born on the wrong planet, but maybe Pizzeria was born on the right planet. Shh, thank you, Johnny Cash, for leaving us a legacy of an amazing, amazing music, which is all there for all of us to listen and rock out to. I have to ask you, Pizzeria, do you guys do any cover tunes? Do any Johnny Cash? Afraid not. No, I'm just asking, just a question. We've been asked to do the Cantina song from Star Wars. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. It would match up. I would appreciate that. <laughs> Could you please? Uh, I'm just re- going to make a request. I don't know if it's possible. Could you do a like a version of the Cantina song here, like right now? Just vocally. Just vocally. Like, is that yeah. possible? Yeah. Is that, You're is a jam that possible? Band, man. Just is that, go for it. Is that is that achievable? Is that achievable? Is that achievable? Yeah. Yeah. Can't take their own instrument, man. You guys do horns. How does it even start? I don't Great. <laughs> now, now you can cut. Now you can cut that. And put that on June next week. And you can run that through some mad distortion, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> I, th- I think that'd be enjoyable. I want to hear more music. What uh, What do you guys got lined up next? What's coming up? Well, let's take a look here. It appears our next song would be by Otto von Schirach. Uh, this one is called Maxi Pad Vegetation. <laughs> <laughs> on CJSR. Ow! On the shoebox. You're doing it too hard. No, I'm a fucking asshole! Ow! Get away! <laughs> Papa, 